local government. Municipal councils consist of political officials, usually called councillors. These are elected office holders who may either represent a particular geographical area of the municipality or are elected at large in city-wide elections. In addition to councillors, councils also have a leader or head of council, usually referred to as a mayor. This leader is generally elected city-wide and is given the responsibility of presiding over council meetings. My name is Dave Barrow and I'm the mayor of the town of Richmond Hill, Ontario. A mayor is elected by uh, all of the people of the town that he chooses to be mayor of. Adults over the age of 18 uh, go to uh, the polls and it happens to be for a mayor every four years and they choose the person they would like to be the mayor of their town. Local governments don't get as much attention as the provincial or federal government. However, it is your local government that provides us with most of the day-to-day -day services that we enjoy. If the street lamp in the front of your house is out, it is your local government that fixes it. If no water comes out of your tap, you probably call the public works department of your local government. Your life sure would be very different if you didn't have your local government. They are responsible for many other things we need and find in our communities. These include social programs like daycares, homes for the aged, affordable housing, the police, and ambulances. You look outside on those cold winter days and the snow plow is out clearing the road so you can get to school. Yes sir, you can thank your local government. They are responsible for road and bridge maintenance. And a lot of environmental things like providing us with safe drinking water, effective treatment of sewage, garbage collection and disposal, and recycling programs. Local governments can also protect the environment by controlling the way that land is developed. They collect taxes, pass bylaws, and provide a lot of services. Over the coming weeks, making a big shift here and starting to grow much needed food for the city and we will ensure that some of the food that is grown here uh, is uh, supplied to downtown Eastside organizations and food banks and the people that will benefit most from healthy food that's grown here. The majority of funding for municipalities comes from property taxes. Property taxes are a tax based on the value of property owned by individuals or businesses. So, as you can see, without local governments, we wouldn't have all of the services that we rely on day to day. Because each province is responsible for creating local governments, they differ across the country. Some places have regional governments, which are created by provinces. They group together several municipalities to make one large local government like the Greater Vancouver Regional District, or GVRD. The GVRD is comprised of mayors and councillors from 21 different municipalities. Another type of regional government is the county systems found in Atlantic Canada, Ontario, Quebec and Alberta. Like the GVRD, these regions combine several municipalities into one and provide county-wide services, just like our area, Brendan County. So let's see, the local government is responsible for things like water, road maintenance, garbage collection and recycling. Yes, but the local government is under the power of each province or territory. And in this case, because the town has declared a state of emergency, they will appeal to the province for help. Oh, just a sec. Isn't this great? It looks like Mayor Flynn is going to be hosting a fundraising event this weekend to help victims of the tornado. Awesome! And even better, it looks like our province is going to match our efforts, dollar for dollar. So the government is going to double whatever our community manages to raise? We have to get started. <laughs> 